Right, now let's learn about forces. Okay, so the first subtopic is about basic of forces and free body diagram. Okay, first of all, we need to learn uh, what are the types of forces we have. Yeah, what are the type of forces we have? So, in this chapter, we are going to learn uh, five types of uh, five types of forces. Okay, so what are the five types of forces? First of all, is the weight. And then we have the tension, okay, and then we have uh, normal force, friction, and also external force. Uh, so these are the five types of uh, uh, forces that we're going, we're going to learn, yeah. So I, I just want to list it down here. So the type of forces, yeah, the type, uh, the type of forces we're going to learn in this chapter is the weight, tension, normal force, Friction, we have static friction or uh, kinetic friction, and then is the external force. Uh, so these are the five types of forces we're going to learn in this chapter. We start off with uh, the weight, okay? The weight. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about weight. So uh, weight is because of mass, okay? When an object has mass, okay? Like, um, like if the question uh, give you mass of an object, uh, then it must have the weight. Okay, it must have the weight. So weight is always directed downwards. Uh, yeah, no matter how the surface, horizontal surface, inclined surface with an angle, uh, vertical surface, like the object is just a, uh, you know, uh, just pushed onto the wall. Yeah, this is the wall, or it is hanging from the ceiling. No matter how how is the surface, okay, the weight is always directed downwards, downwards, okay. Uh, why downwards? Because gravity always towards the center of Earth. Ah, uh, so the weight is always downward. So don't like oh, okay, inclined surface. Then you go to draw, uh, you go to draw, uh, something like this. You go to draw the weight, uh, also, uh, this direction, uh, which is wrong, okay, which is wrong. So weight is always uh, downward and the formula for weight is mg uh, mg so it's mass time gravity okay then uh, we have the tension okay what is tension tension is the force that exists in the string in the cord in the cable in the wire in the rope in the chain uh, so if the question you saw these keywords uh, is uh, being tied to a wall with a string, with a wire or rope, or this, uh, or these words, all right? Uh, okay. So as long as you saw these words, uh, string, cord, cable, wire, rope, and chain in the questions, that means you have tension force. Uh, you have tension force. So tension is the force that exists in this wire. Yeah? All the, all that. And what is the direction of the tension? As you can see for all, for all, excuse me, okay, so what's the direction of the tension? Okay, it is always away from object, yeah? You look at this uh, object, it's uh, being uh, tied to the ceiling. Uh, the tension is also away from the object. Uh, like this one, two blocks, the tension all away from object. Do you see that? Uh, this one is being pulled up also, tension away from object. These two blocks also, tension always away from object. So the keyword is the the tension must be always uh, away from object. Why away from object? Because we know one thing: uh, tension only pulls. Uh, it never pushes. Uh, yeah. You see this. You see this wire. It can never push the. Can never push the. Ob can never. You say. Can never. Uh, the wire push the object downward. Can cannot. Okay, the wire only pulls; it never pushes. Yeah, uh, like you see, uh, how how are you going to push the use a wire to push something? Can you use a you can use a string to push an object? Can you use a wire to push an object? Yeah, can you even use your hair to push an object? No, wire only pulls, never pushes. Uh, that's why uh, the direction of the tension always away from object. Yeah, remember, oh, only, only away from object. Okay, 
and then uh, you, you look at here uh, even like this uh, this uh, this diagram uh, this block like yeah uh, you see here you have two blocks uh, we have um, okay like you see this uh, object okay we have object uh, put this as object one this is object two you see the object two is uh, falling downward falling downward but we don't say that oh uh, since this object two is falling downward so the tension here is uh, tension here is actually uh, pushing yeah the tension uh, of the wire is pushing the object two down yeah many students draw like this oh uh, since uh, object one go to the right so tension must go must go to the right object two uh, falling downward so tension must also go downward this is wrong concept uh, this is wrong yeah tension tension do not follow the motion it do not follow the motion uh, you only remember tension only pulls uh, remember tension only only pulls it never pushes uh, yeah we never see this wire it push the object to it uh, we never see this wire push the block to down no instead this is what happens instead this is what happens when uh okay let me draw uh when this uh ball when, when this block okay when this block two is falling it feel it feel that block one is like pulling uh, is like holding it back ah uh, uh, we can say block two okay maybe i should write something over here we can say block two okay uh make it bigger yeah the words um hold on a second okay we can say block two feels uh, it uh, it feels uh the uh, block one is holding it back ah uh, okay uh without we can or we can say without block one without block one uh, block two actually uh, actually uh, can fall down much easier ah uh, so in other words we, can, we in other words we can say block block one is okay okay what what so what is actually block two feeling yeah you feeling the block one is holding it back so without the block one actually block two can fall down much easier okay so what is actually uh okay sorry what is actually block two feeling block two is actually feeling the tension holding it back this tension come from block one ah uh, so so what i can say is uh block two is actually feeling feeling the feeling the tension ah uh, from who from block one ah uh, okay uh, that is what what it means feeling the tension from block one and then uh that's why the tension the tension uh for block two is going up yeah it's going up it's like block two feeling the tension uh of from block one which is holding it back okay whereas how about block one uh, block one why it move to the right uh, block one move to the right because block two is pulling it down uh, so block one is actually feeling the tension from block block two uh, so what i can say yeah uh in uh also in uh in other words uh maybe put this bigger uh block block one on the other hand block one on the other hand is feeling okay is feeling uh, block one is actually is feeling um block two pulling it down uh this feeling is the tension ah uh, this feeling is the tension uh, it experience uh, block one experience okay ah uh, so so uh, we can say um you know um block one is feeling that block two is pulling it down so this feeling this feeling is the tension yeah? tension um, the block one experiencing yeah this tension actually come from block two uh, okay so we can say block two feels the tension 
uh, that block 1 is uh, holding it back, block 1 also feel the tension from block 2 that pulling it down. Uh, that, that, is, that is what it means. Okay? So, um, these two tension is the same. Same string, same tension. We can see uh, from here. Okay, uh, maybe I should draw something here. Um, yeah, this one. You see, this one is the same string. You see that? Same string. Ah, so, um, ah, this one is a one same string. So, this tension and this tension equal. Ah, this tension and this tension, they are equal. Yeah, same tension. Why? Why we say like that? Because uh, this is a video to action. Action reaction force. Uh, Newton's third law. Actually, this is Newton's third law. When we uh, later on we talk about Newton's third law of motion, we will talk about tension. Ah, yeah. Uh, this is what it means. Uh, every uh, every action force has a reaction force has equal in magnitude but opposite direction. And this uh, action reaction force they acts on two different objects. Uh, like you see these uh, two blocks. Uh, these two tension they are equal. Uh, equal but opposite direction with a negative sign. Ah, you see these two tension they are equal. Yeah, on the same string. You see on the same string. Oh, sorry. Uh, on the same string. Uh, same tension. Uh, same tension between the two. Uh, same tension between the two. Uh, T A B equal to negative T B A. Same string, same tension. Uh, and these two tension they act at different objects. This A, T A B is on acted on block B. This T B A acted on block A. So they are two different things. Yeah, look at this one. Ah, so this this is the same string, same string. So this tension and this tension equal. Okay, they are equal. Ah, uh, uh, maybe I should write over here. So this tension and this tension they are equal. Yeah. Ah, uh, actually we uh, we can uh, we can label it. Uh, this one is the T. 2, 1 and this is t1 2 uh, so t21 actually is equal but opposite direction negative t12 uh, uh, why why we have a uh, 2 1 and 1 2 later I will explain about this in the Newton's third law yeah in the final video but uh, I'm not going, not going to explain it over here uh, like this one also uh, these two tension they are equal uh, these two tension they are equal. Uh, although we can see, uh, oh, this is a uh, one big block and this is one small block, but the tension they are still equal. Why? Because they are action reaction force. Same string, same tension. Okay. Uh, this is the one same string. Uh, okay. Maybe um, uh, this is one same string. Yeah. Uh, until here. Okay. Same string, same tension. Uh, okay. Uh, so remember that tension always away from object. Okay, so uh, that's it for this uh, weight and tension. The next video I'm going to explain about the other forces.